国家主席习近平的邀请，瑞士联邦主席约翰施奈德阿曼于四月七号至四月九号对中国进行了国事访问。六十三岁的施奈德阿曼出生于瑞士的博尔尼州，先后呢在苏黎世联邦理工大学和法国英式国际商学院获得了电气工程学和工商管理的硕士学位。他曾经长期担任阿曼集团的董事长，以及瑞士机械电子冶金工业协会主席、瑞士经济协会的副主席等职。一九九九年当选瑞士联邦议会国民院议员，二零一零年当选瑞士联邦委员，并出任经济教研部长。二零一一年和二零一五年两度连任联邦委员。今年年初，施耐德阿曼轮任联邦主席，任期是一年。历史上，瑞士是最早同新中国建交的西方国家之一，也是首个同中国签署自由贸易协定的欧洲大陆国家。此次约翰施耐德阿曼访华，中瑞双方又共同发表了两国关于建立创新战略伙伴关系的联合声明。两国元首一致决定建立中瑞的创新战略伙伴关系，为两国未来的关系指明了方向。而瑞士呢，也由此成为中国的首个创新战略伙伴关系国。此次访华，约翰施耐德阿曼先后访问了北京和上海两座城市。在北京的访问期间，他接受了财新时间的专访，就中瑞的创新战略伙伴关系、瑞士银行业的改革、欧洲的难民危机、世界经济的前景等广泛的热点问题，回答了财新传媒副主编、国际部主任黄山的提问。So I think,、uh, as、uh, President of Switzerland, we know that Switzerland has been playing a very significant. Like a role in bridging a gap between China and the Western world, so you are the first country to recognize、uh, Chinese market economy status, and also the first Western developed economy to sign a, a free trade agreement with China, and is one of the Europe、uh, first founding members of、uh, Asian Infrastructure Inf Investment Bank. So why is Switzerland? Switzerland is a very open society. is a very open-minded society. is a very open、uh, economy. We go around the world, and we go around the world in looking for opportunities, in contributing to peace、uh, the globe,、uh, in building、uh, bridges, and.、Uh, As far as China is concerned, we were very much interested from the very beginning to contribute to integrate the Far East、uh, big might、uh, into the global、uh, concept. It started in 1950. We acknowledged the、uh, People's Republic of China. You mentioned、uh, 74 with the Accord of Commerce. And recently, AIIB,、uh, the Minbi Hub,、uh, free trade agreement. These are all activities in、uh, overall common sense,、mm -hmm. but、uh, honestly speaking, in our own interest as well.、Mm -hmm. We want to do、mm -hmm. business. We want to do、uh, business so to be able to create.、Uh, Additional value in both countries, which means、uh, people into、uh, activities and jobs、okay. are crucial. So you mentioned that、uh, actually we have very strong ties in the、uh, financial ties. For、uh, one of the Chinese state-owned banks just opened its Zurich branch and executes、um, offshore Chinese currency、uh, transaction. So、um, I think it's quite a represent a very great step. In the、uh, internationalization of Chinese currencies, so what kind of role is Switzerland、uh, willing to play in the internationalization of Chinese currency? The financial place、uh, Switzerland is、uh, the fifth in strength globally.、Mm -hmm. In other words, Switzerland is a financing、uh, place. We are a financial、uh, hub. And we、uh, are hence、uh, very much interested in、uh, strengthening these、uh, strengths, and in other words,、uh, we are interested in offering to、uh, your CCB、uh, a basis, so to develop uh, the Renminbi uh, financial uh, activities from Switzerland.、Uh, Towards、uh, the Renminbi market、yeah. and try to、uh, contribute again、mm -hmm. 
uh, the overall uh, activities and try to find uh, additional strengths for our uh, financial market. So actually I think uh, previously and in your statement uh, and uh, I heard some concern people worry a little bit about the uh, FTA between our two countries. We know that uh, the FTA has been in force for uh, one and a half years but uh, I heard some concerns from some Swiss companies and maybe some Chinese companies. Now, um, what kind of um, um, progress can we improve uh, the current scheme of the financial uh, uh, free trade agreement? What, what kind of okay, improvement? The expectations were obviously a little bit too high <laughs> and uh, we have a couple of uh, uh, industries, a couple of uh, companies uh, which uh, blamed, uh, uh, but it's, a, it's foremost a question of, uh, of understanding what a free trade agreement can uh, offer. And we are now uh, clarifying uh, case by case and uh, hopefully we find uh, understanding. Uh, rationalism mm -hmm. and uh, solutions mm -hmm. and by the way uh, there will be a evaluation uh, meeting between the two parties uh, China and Switzerland mm -hmm. later this year and uh, technical uh, problems or uh, enlargements of the uh, of the agreement uh, agreement uh, can be discussed so you, um, this time your China trip actually focused on the innovation and the creativity cooperation between our two countries. Now what's your take on this, on this issue? How we can promote, uh, we can mutually beneficially by, uh, in terms of innovation and... Uh, yeah, innovation is uh, not always uh, touchable. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's a philosophy, mm -hmm. it's a way of thinking, it's a way of acting as well. Uh, what we fixed uh, in my discussions yesterday with the Prime Minister is that we want to bring a, uh, a task force at the table and this uh, task force uh, shall, shall uh, think about uh, proposals, about uh, concrete uh, ac actions and uh, I expect uh, from such a task force, uh, some realistic uh, activities uh, to be decided about uh, before the end of this year. 瑞士的银行业呢，一直与其严格的客户信息保密制度闻名于世，而近年来呢，对这一制度也有所开放。二零一四年五月，在巴黎召开的经合组织部长级会议上，瑞士承诺将定期向成员国提供外国客户的金融信息。那么，如何在保护客户信息的传统和透明化改革之间找到平衡？如何减少对全球客户的影响？施耐德·阿曼坦诚，瑞士从始至终没有想要成为黑钱的目的地。So we know that Switzerland is quite famous. For his banking system, because uh, it's strict protection of uh, clients' uh, secrets. But as we know that uh, actually your country is in the process of reforming or overhauling your banking system. So, what are the implications of the uh, end of the banking secrecy, the culture, and how can you achieve a balance between the protection of uh, uh, the client's interest and the some transparency you know, required, for example, by the United States. It was never, uh, never uh, Switzerland's idea to be a black money uh, bunker. We uh, accepted in the meantime the OECD uh, rules. We are uh, following these international uh, guidelines and we do not fear the market uh, competition. Mm -hmm. Uh, since we are a, a specialist in financial aspects, since we are uh, a reliable uh, uh, spe specialist, we uh, assume that the private and the institutional uh, customers uh, uh, stay with us, or in other words, already 
during the last couple of months when we uh, corrected our system, uh, the most of the clients uh, stayed uh, with our institutions mm -hmm. because they believe that we clarify the rules and that we uh, keep our uh, competence uh, in the interest of our, uh, of our customers. Competence combined with uh, reliability, with uh, disponibility, flexibility, uh, whatever, a huge uh, uh, amount of experience under the, under the international rules that works, uh, that persuades uh, the customers and that's the concept of our industry. 三月中旬，经过艰难的谈判，欧盟与土耳其就解决中东难民问题达成了协议，力求有效地解决难民的入境、安置、遣返等一系列的问题。然而，协议如何有效地落实，各国的责任又该如何划分，又成为了摆在欧盟面前的一大棘手挑战。瑞士呢，虽然不是欧盟的成员国，却是申根国之一。对此，施耐德认为，要解决难民危机，根本上还需要欧盟各国携手应对，达成共识，而这仍需时日。I think over the past half a year. The whole Europe country, European countries are struggling to deal with the massive inflow of refugees. And uh, you calling several emergency meetings. And I want to know um, Switzerland's position on this um, refugee crisis. The refugee crisis uh, is uh, actually the single biggest uh, uh, challenge for the whole Europe. Uh, we, Switzerland, we know a 25% foreigner inhabitants in our country. That's by far more than uh, any other European uh, country knows. And based on that, the Swiss uh, population voted for a new, specific, unilaterally established control system mm -hmm. to prevent uh, our country from being uh, overruled mm -hmm. by migrants. Actually, we are looking for solutions, and we are looking for solution, solutions which can be uh, concluded uh, in the best uh, understanding with the European Union as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes time, it's delicate. Uh, we uh, participate in the refugee issue in uh, all solidarity, but at the same time we have to respect our population's uh, will, mm -hmm. uh, which means we have to find uh, new rules of the game and earlier or later that will be the case. So to what extent um, are you optimistic about your politicians across Europe can find a, a solution to the, the refugee crisis? We have to. I'm a member of the Swiss uh, government, uh, actually uh, the president and in my here as the president of the Swiss uh, Confederation, we need to find a solution. Mm -hmm. We work uh, hard behind uh, uh, walls and uh, try to come up with a offer uh, with which uh, the European neighbors uh, want to live. And uh, it's a bargaining issue as well. Uh, and it's a little bit too early to Uh, speak uh, publicly about. 当前全球的经济持续放缓，但在施耐德看来，尽管受到了周期性的影响，而中国的经济发展前景依旧是乐观的。而谈到瑞士连续七年蝉联全球竞争力经济体榜首，施耐德表示，原因在于瑞士对于创新的足够重视。只有不断的致力于创新，才可以应对复杂多变的经济风险和政治影响，做好充足的准备。So I think in terms of the uh, economic affairs, we know that the world, the whole world, now is in the midst of uh, um, global economic slowdown. So what's your take on Chinese economic situation here? And uh, how can Switzerland cooperate with China in, for example, when we talk about green economy? 
and uh, high-end uh, uh, manufacturing and the modern services. So how can both countries cooperate in deal with the uh, econ economic slowdown? Let me start in uh, commenting the growth uh, situation in Europe. Mm -hmm. We know a almost a zero or maybe 0.5 uh, GDP growth already the last two years and probably the ongoing year as well. Germany is doing a little bit better. Then the 6.8% of uh, China is uh, in a comparison with the European situation quite a lot. Yeah. And uh, normally I'm defending uh, China and saying uh, 10 years ago, 11.2% ended up in 200 billion US dollar. 6.8% mm -hmm. in 2015 for the same uh, China ends up in uh, 700 billion US dollar. In other words, the Chinese economy uh, grew over the last 10 years uh, significantly. Mm -hmm. And maybe that uh, even the Chinese economy is coming uh, into some sort of a cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's uh, normality. We, we know it in Western Europe uh, since ever. And I guess uh, we do not have uh, the right to lose uh, trust and motivation and passion. Mm -hmm. uh, China itself and uh, countries doing business with China shall push, uh, uh, let's say, on an innovation way, green economy way. In our country, we speak about uh, clean tech. Uh, that helps to create new ideas, new products, new services, and uh, brings the uh, economic uh, cycle uh, back on an upward uh, trend. And then we are where we want to be. I was in Davos, covering the Davos Forum. So according to what they, uh, they call the Industry Revolution 4.0. So can we say that because people are talking about the, uh, the new Industry Revolution, which features automation, uh, artificial intelligence, and robotics technologies. So uh, many, many advanced technologies. Can we say that the fortunes has been reversed? I mean, because the, your, you have very deep uh, talent pool, you have a very sound legal system protecting the uh, intellectual property and because of the uh, educated labor force and uh, very high ex respected uh, colleges. Switzerland ranked number one uh, in the ranking of the uh, competitiveness in terms of industrial revolution 4.0. Coming up with a very general and very basic uh, answer to a quite uh, sophisticated uh, question. The more the innovative uh, capability, the better the competitivity and the better the chances to survive whatever happens around you economically. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are, we in our country, uh, we are focusing uh, on, uh, on innovation in saying cycle is cycle, it comes and goes and comes again. Uh, uh, all the uh, unprevisible uh, political or economic uh, events around us, uh, they come and go and we have no chance to uh, influence them. In other words, if you want to prepare yourself for different situations, delicate situations, strive for innovation. And then you have done what has to be done.